welcome back to Planning Dale's Way. Just double checking my microphone because we've had a video up that has no sound. Um, I am filming for my journal for next week, but look at this. I went to the reject shop today. I got this one. I thought it would make a really cute desk mat considering it's um, coming on to spooky season. And then I got this one that's like the interior of a haunted house and I thought they were really cool and I got this really cute pumpkin Look, it's a blue one so yes um, I also picked up a sticker book so, for some um, friends kids and yeah so anyway but anyway <laughs> besides the point, I just wanted to share my um, very cute uh, it's I think I'm pretty sure it's a placemat it, it's got the backing like a placemat um, but I liked it for the desk. I thought it'll look pretty cool on the desk. So, all right, back to what we're actually supposed to be doing. I am using Beautifully Lined by Live Love Posh. And this is the first set of stickers in the book. And I loved this big one. So I thought, it's my journal. I can put a big sticker on the page. We're all good. Um, so that's what we're going to do. It's also got some really cute um, sayings uh, because it's aligned out like because it's inclined and, and everything. They're all about uh, lines. So every single line means something. Love yourself first and everything falls in line. Sometimes it's better to cross the line and suffer the consequences than to just stare at the line for the rest of your life. That one actually really sort of spoke to me. Uh, life is a beautiful mess of tangled lines. And if you're a Whovian like me, um, yeah, that just sort of brought up the thought of uh, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. So, yeah, I don't know if anybody else here is a Whovian, but I am. So, you know, um, and I think I'm going to get rid of that. And I have these, are, I got these from my friend Karen. And they're just address labels. Okay, got to come a bit further down. I was hoping that I would be able to cover things. Like I know you can still see it through, but I was hoping I'd be able to cover it up without having to wipe everything out. My shirt is attacking me. Um. So, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. So let's go with the big one first because it's the one I like the most. Um, and I thought I'd put it over this side. I have no matching boxes. But I thought maybe grey boxes. Like I know I have colour, but... It's like a neutral color. I don't know. Does that is that even a thing? Neutral color. Does that make sense to anybody but me? And yeah, I probably should have whited out the lines, but I'm not gonna get off there. Okay, let's de-stick you. I just want to put the big honking flower. On my page, I actually don't even mind that you can see the lines through that. I think that's lovely. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's gorgeous. I like that. Okay, we're, we're on a roll. Okay, we've got a sticker on the page. It means we're started. We're good. So what have you been up to this week? Today is Saturday. Um, hubby's out. I've been out. Oh, I dropped my phone, my work phone yesterday. Not my work phone. I dropped the phone. Well, it is my work phone. Um, while I was cleaning yesterday, and it hit the edge of the um, vacuum cleaner head, um, and went skidding across the floor. And I had to like climb under the desk to find it, and yeah, you know, all that sort of thing. And that one, or that one. Um, that one could go there. 
that works. Um, anyway, back to the thing. And when I picked it up, it had a huge, um, not just a crack, like I've had cracks on my phone screen and managed to, to work with it and everything like that. But this wasn't just a crack. This was like a huge dent in the screen protector and and I've always had a screen protector on my phone. But I was absolutely terrified thinking that maybe, you know, just maybe it wasn't just the screen protector, that it was maybe the, um, like it had gone through to the screen underneath. And so I was, you know, tiny little bit petrified because it might not seem like a big thing to a lot of people, but to me having to replace my phone um, is a cost that I don't budget for. Like it's not in my budget, you know what I mean? Like I'm almost paid off from my, um, like I've got three payments to go until the phone itself is paid off the Telstra plan, you know. Um, so, yeah, so it was like, oh, my gosh. Um, so, anyway, I went up to uh, Kingston Town Shopping Centre and they have like a Mr. Case little kiosk -y sort of stall and that's where I always buy my cases and I always buy um, my screen protectors from there or get them to do them and, and that sort of thing anyway. Um, I know it's more expensive than buying them off eBay or whatever and, and it, but when you don't have steady hands like me or um, you're lazy, I guess, I don't know. I just, I would just rather have somebody else do it and it's done and I'm happy to pay for the cost, you know what I mean? Um, so that sort of thing gets budgeted for a little bit because um, it doesn't happen often, but, you know, I usually have the money for a replacement screen protector if I need it. But, um, yeah, it's just oh, I was freaking out. And then when she took the screen protector off and it was just the screen protector, I was like, whew, you know, like just, just so happy that it was only – the protector and not the phone because I had in my head, like I already had it going in my head um, that, you know, like, okay, if this is completely broken, well then um, I'm going to have to take the phone from the Mr. Case place and then I'm going to have to um, go to Telstra, get a new phone, transfer everything over, which is why I've got the second phone anyway, like um, the A70 that I used to film on, um, that was my phone and then I dropped it and shattered the thing, um, but it wasn't just the screen protector. It had damaged the phone. Um, so then I had to, and that was a couple of years ago, and all I could think of was that I was going to have to do the whole thing again. You know what I mean? And... Um, I think that can go there and it's not going to matter that you can see through it um, or it will be fine that you can see through it more the point. Um, so, yeah, so I've like already done that. So in my head I'm going, okay, I have, you know, this much of my savings. I can after pay it and then I can pay it off and I owe this much on the phone plan and that's the thing, I don't owe too much on the phone plan anyway. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I was like, anxiously trying to work in my head what I could do. And then it was like, okay, and then um, I'll, I will have to get the other phone fixed. Um, it doesn't have to be done immediately. I'll have to save up for it, but then I'll have to get that phone fixed um, because, you know, like I need a phone, um, the new phone, but, what am I going to do with a broken one? You know, like I might as well get it fixed and then maybe I could sell it or, you know, my husband might need a new one or, you know, like just does anybody else's brain do that or is that just uniquely me? <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was just like so much in my head that I was going to have to, you know, go here and do this and do that and do the next and – but it was just the screen protector, so it was like, oh, okay, deep breath. 
deep breath. Um, and then because the Mr. Case thing is just the kiosk thing is just outside the reject shop. I'm like, okay, you didn't have to spend a fortune getting a new phone. Let's go and have a look at what Halloween -y things they have just for a, a, a quick squeeze. You know, you don't have to buy as if I'm going to go into the reject shop and not buy something, but you don't have to buy anything. And, um, you know, we can just, just go from there sort of thing. And, um, yeah, so that's how come I ended up in the reject shop today and ended up with this so cute haunted house scene. So, yes, but please do share if your brain works like mine and you start freaking out about worst case scenario or not. And like my mum always was like, oh, you're so negative, you know, like you have to be positive. But when you only ever sort of have bad things happen and that you have to then deal with those bad things, it's like your brain automatically is trained to solve the bad rather than, I guess, celebrate the good or whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful for the fact that I can afford a phone. There are people that can't afford phones. There are people without housing. You know, even now the cost of living is ridiculously high. Um, I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just so used to negative happening to me and my life that it's easier to go negative first um, rather than, you know, positive, have positive, you know, vibes and stuff. I don't know. Anybody else? I'm, I'm happy to listen if you want to share. No, I was looking at it. That one looks upside down. Um, so how do you think this is looking so far? Now, I could go all out and put flowers everywhere like because I have enough of them. But I'm wondering, let's have a look for boxes. Hold that thought. I'll be Okay, I'm back. I've just had a quick flip through this um, Mojo Jojo Plans pastel boxes. And I'm just going to write it down the bottom here. Um, but there is some corresponding, um, I'm just going to put Mojo. I know what that means. Everybody knows what that means. Best of boxes. And what was it? Live, love, posh. Line, beautifully lined. Is that what I'm using? Beautifully lined. Make sure I spell it correctly. There we go. Back to the boxes. Um, so I just flipped through this, and this has some really good corresponding ones. Um, even this sort of slightly darker color is nice. It matches pretty good. So because we've got like this darky red, this blush color. So we've got those in here. We don't really have yellow. This green matches, both of these greens match the leaves, so that's good. And I don't need a lot of this box things because it's my journal. We've got no blue, so we can leave the blue out. And then I've got the, the two colours purple, which I think blends quite nicely. Like that sort of blue, but it's not the right kind of blue. Um, and then at the very back of this book, I think we've got more pinks, which this one, even though it's a little bit bright, it matches too. So I think we can make this work. And I've still got two quotes to use, and I'll have to put my numbers in too because I haven't put my numbers in. And I'm thinking that I've covered that there. I may actually bring in over here and put the date. Like I know you can see it. Oh, screw it. I know it's Tuesday. It's my journal. Um, so do we want a blushy coloured one? Where's my wax paper? So we'll go blush. And do like that. 
no yellow let's go to the green I'm just going to get different sizes don't need the blue And they don't have to go together. Let's do that one. Uh, I may not use them all. I'm just pulling them out just in case. And we'll see where we go with placement. Okay. So now I have my boxes. All right, so there's a blush there, blush there. So let's put this one up here. Now I know there's not a lot of room for the rest of the day, but you know, you never know, I might not do much on Friday. And I kind of like this one do we want to maybe lift this little like it doesn't have to be lifted completely but if we lift it a little and line it up there well, as straight as I get anyway. Oh, yes, I like that. I like that. Now let's add. Let's add that green there because why not? Okay, and put that pink one there. Sorry, I was just thinking in my head where I'm putting these and I forgot that I was supposed to be having a chat. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's my day. I'm also going to make a meatloaf for tea tonight. Um, hubby is at his mother's house um, still trying to deal with, you know, the estate and getting rid of all of her stuff. She had so much stuff. Please, for the love of your children, don't hoard your stuff. Um, I think that's going to have to go down a bit. Don't you rip. Be a good box. Be a good box. Oh, yes, good box. Let's put you there instead. Oh, yes, good. And then that one can go there. And that one's crooked, but that's okay. Okay, so now that I have some boxes on the page, we can add a couple more of maybe the smaller florals. You know, like there's this one here. This is cute. I'm going to sit it in the corner of that box because that's lovely. It's a little bit matchy, but. Have got any spots that need a bit more floral? Because we might be able to put this one. Yes, I like that. That's not what I was supposed to be doing, I know.
Let's go with this one. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to make a meatloaf while husband while my husband is away doing <sighs> dealing with family things. It's you know hard work dealing with them. Um... Now I'm not going to add a floral to that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Anybody else just choke on their own spit or just me? Okay, just me. Um, I'm not going to add a floral to that because we've got this huge floral here, which I'm still in, kind of in love with. But we could add this quote. The quotes are all going to sort of look the same because they're lines. Um, normally I think I would probably be a bit not so in love with the colour on the page. Like I know Happy Planner used to do it all the time and I have spent a good deal of time whiting out coloured lines on different things and the old Happy Planners um, had bigger lines like this. And okay. Okay, you're crooked, but that's fine. Um, do I want something here? Let's go with this blush one. Um, oh, I lost my train of thought. Happy planner, thick lines, having to cover them up. Yes, that's where I was at. But I kind of like the way the green comes through these lines. I think it's lovely. So I'm going to put this one like that there we go and i'm done except for the numbers and i got big numbers so what is monday monday is the seventh isn't it double checking because i've done that before and put the wrong oh, wrong code put the wrong days on that's november i don't want november yes monday is the seventh Okay, so we have a seven. It's a big seven, but that's okay. Seven. Oh, itch. We have an eight. And we have a nine. I think these are Mojo Jojo numbers, but I'm not sure. And um, we have 10. And 11. I don't know why the 11s are always that little bit thick, but they are. And we're just going to deal with it. And we've got 12. And we've got a 13. And there we are. We're done. All right. So, yes, so it's going to be meatloaf for tea. Get rid of your junk so your kids don't have to deal with it. Um, we're actually going to a garage sale in November and getting rid of a whole heap of our junk. Um, Halloween is coming. Uh, what else? Thanks for being here. I'm pretty sure that's the wrap-up for the day. It was me just having a ramble. But isn't it pretty? I think it's very pretty. Okay. I love you guys lots. Thanks for being here. As always, like and subscribe the channel to the channel. Find me on all of the socials. I have a TikTok. I have an Instagram. Um, I post spreads onto the Facebook groups for Happy Planner, etc. So you can find me all over those. Um, make a comment. Answer my questions that I've asked because you know it, there's no no winning or anything, but you know I, I love a conversation. Um, and as always, be happy, be healthy, and most importantly, be you. Bye.